Hello and welcome to yet another episode of my podcast. In today's episode we will talk about how you can use social media to the best of your advantage. This episode is in continuation with the previous episode where I spoke about the issues of social media and how it's affecting us in various aspects so as i mentioned in the previous episode i am not against social media neither am i saying that social media is a an extremely bad tool the idea is to create awareness and to help you understand what social media can do to you the idea is to help you understand how social media can impact you negatively without you really being aware of it now the big question is that are we solely responsible for how social media impacts us well to a great degree yes because social media is just a tool it's a placeholder of information and content that we as people create and share so it completely depends on us on the kind of content we want to create and the kind of content we want to share also the kind of content we want to consume today i'll talk about how you can consume and use social media uh, in the most positive way in the most positive fashion so without any further ado you know the drill that it's time to have a word with me rajiv thawan see you on the other side of the intro music Welcome back. In this episode in this podcast I'll talk about six things that you can do rather six tips that you can use that will help you use social media in the right way. The first one is follow brands and people as though you were paying for them. What do I mean by this? Well, social media is free to use. We all know this. We are all aware of it. But just assume and imagine what if you had to pay for following a particular person or a brand across these channels and if that was the case would you follow this x person or x brand that you're currently following that's a question you can ask yourself if you feel yes the answer is yes then please go ahead and follow but if you feel that no this is not somebody that i'd like to pay for just an assumption just an imagination then try to avoid following those people so the idea to do this exercise is to help you understand and also follow people who you genuinely believe in brands that you genuinely connect with and brands that you feel add some value to you to your life to how you look at things to your perspective and somewhere influence your growth as a person this is extremely important because the pages that you will consume on social media will completely determine the content that you will consume so whatever you are following whoever you are following you will likely see more of that content content by those people by those brands let me share an example with you let's assume that you are following a health expert and you are a, a health freak and uh, when you follow this health expert you realize that they're sharing some great information which is cool slowly you decide to follow quite a few other health experts as well and you see a lot of contradictory content being posted by each one of these because we all have our own ways of looking at things our experience uh, our exposure awareness so many factors that differ right so now because you're following so many people so many health uh, experts then you are likely to get confused about what you should consume in terms of your food your nutrition your exercise your fitness regime etc and what you should not so that leaves you with a lot of confusion and now you don't know what to do and you end up going crazy but what if you were if you had to choose one of these health experts who you were imaginary in your mind paying for then who would that person be so you'll make one choice and you'll 
more likely stick to that one person and then now you'll follow one person and you know if they are able to help you move ahead in your journey of fitness or not the other aspect of the same example is that a lot of people are giving information which is negative and you began to consume a lot of health reg- related negative uh, content and this content impacts you psychologically somewhere and you begin to look at uh, your consumption of food your your the way you follow your fitness regime in a very negative fashion if you don't do it then you'll have some problem if you eat this there'll be that problem those kind of things and that begins to have a huge impact on how you think how you feel consuming so much negativity it can also lead to a psychological placebo kind of an effect where you know you just begin to feel unwell uh, because you're consuming so much of negative content so think about it and be very wise and mindful of who and which page are you going to connect with or follow on your social media channels and while at it also do a timely uh, audit of who you're following because sometimes we are not in the right frame of mind sometimes it's just instinctive that we follow a few people and i've also come across cases where you've not really followed somebody but then you suddenly see that you're following that ex person so there are some bots at play in the back end we don't know so just to, just doing a little bit of audit uh, from time to time on who you're following will be of a great help the second is take a detox break social media detox does to the mind what fasting does to the body it's just an amazing way to take a break and give a little rest to your body and mind it will help you make space for more positive experiences in life it will rejuvenate you like a holiday so don't stay away from the idea of taking a social media detox or a break and uh, this does not mean that you'll have to take a permanent break because i do understand we're living in the internet uh, world and a connected world and our jobs and a lot of stuff that we do requires us to be connected from time to time but try to see if you can limit uh, the usage of social media or just take a detox for a few days and uh, see how it helps you i'm sure it will make a huge positive impact on you so try it out the third thing is to use social media for the kind of education that it provides i mean this is one of the biggest factors and the biggest advantages of social media as a platform as a tool because we should be grateful to so many content creators on social channels who are helping us big time across various aspects of our lives you can learn about subjects from personal finance to fashion travel to wellness and so much more and all this knowledge would never have been easily accessible if there was no social media so using social media as a tool to improve your knowledge on a on a subject is also a great way to to look at it in fact because of social media a lot of content creators also take the edutainment route where they are educating you with a dash of entertainment as well the idea is to mix entertainment and education so that you don't find this content boring to consume and uh, it helps you grow and move ahead in life Howard University for instance has one of its most renowned startup courses on YouTube and it's all free so just imagine the possibility that the internet and the social media networks have been able to create over the years so people who genuinely want to upskill themselves this is a great tool for them the next point is network effectively so in this age where you've got social media and uh, you've got so many channels that you can connect with people from any part of the world that is a great thing to have a great uh, advantage to have which our earlier generations didn't so the idea of social media in the beginning was to 
attack the inquisitive nerve of people who want to know what's happening in other people's lives uh, but the flip side is that you can connect with some really cool people as well and that too on the professional front so use it to connect with the right people professionally who can mentor you guide you or you can just build some great synergies with to with like minded people you can use it to build your career you can connect with future employers you can connect with uh, people in par you can also use it to voice your opinion about subjects and things that matter to you so there is a great deal of advantage that social media gives you now it depends on you on how you want to use it the next point is build a personal brand Now building a personal brand might sound like an idea that will not provide a lot of value to you but let me tell you it's one of the most underrated aspects of social media one needs to understand that there is a world beyond price and product and that world is dominated by a personal brand people like to connect with people who come across as thought leaders and display their knowledge and craft and what this does in return is it helps you build something which is priceless it helps you build trust and that in turn helps you make money in the process so if you are able to use social media as a channel to build a personal brand then that's one of the best uses you're making of this tool but there is a little piece of caution here that uh every single piece of content that we post on social media is somewhere helping people create an image of ours even if you're not influencers even if you're not public figures because what you share and the kind of content that you put across showcases what are the causes that you connect with uh, what is the kind of mindset that you have this may not necessarily be true all the time but at least this is what people a uh, form an opinion with so it's important that we are at least mindful of creating the right kind of uh content or posting the right con- kind of content uh, across these channels so that's the only thing that we need to keep in mind but if you want to build a great personal brand then the beginning of that should happen on a social media channel We did talk about taking a complete detox or you know a break from social media channels but there's another way of looking at it which is a break on a day to day basis something that is more doable by each one of us so you can limit the daily usage of social media tools today there are so many manufacturing companies that make phones with uh, inbuilt features where you can control the amount of screen time and the amount of social media usage as per an app or as a category on the whole so utilize these settings and if you don't have this on your phone you can always look at various apps like off the grid and uh, freedom and many others that will help you restrict your daily social media consumption or usage this can also help you a great deal because while you'll get entertained and you'll forget your worries for some time but you will not overindulge so the idea is to get the perks but not overindulge in these tools those were the six points that i wanted to talk about i thought these are the points that will help you understand how social media functions and also how you can use it to your advantage while at it let me also tell you that i have been completely aware of all the information that i've shared in this episode and the previous episode for a while now and that does not mean that i don't struggle with limiting my social media usage so it's a tough thing to do and i am also taking those uh, baby steps and making conscious lifestyle changes to reduce my screen time and my social media consumption so i know it's not easy but you can try it and once you become a little conscious of who you want to follow and the kind of content you want to consume you can always start with these small steps while there's a long way to go i'm sure you will reach a a great place very soon and you'll become more mindful and more aware of the kind of content that you're consuming 
the purpose of this episode and the previous episode is to help you with some awareness and this will lead you to make at least minor changes towards your perspective of social media and over a period of time the negative impact of social media will start reducing on you and your life so that's the goal and i hope i've been able to achieve at least a tiny bit of that goal uh in the previous episode and this episode i hope you like this piece of content and if you did please share please spread the word i am sure you will positively impact someone until next time thank you